Aviancies are humanoid avian creatures native to the world of Abina, a hostile world with shattered floating islands, scattered resources, and a number of factions in varying degrees of conflict with one another. During the Second Age, an aviancy named Armadil would ascend to godhood and unify the quarreling factions under his banner. Promising a more peaceful and safe life in the new world, Armadil led his aviancies to Gilinor. They established a home there and resided in peace until the assassination of Xeros by Zamorak, plunging Gilinor into the God Wars. Like many birds, aviancies pair for life, something that would become tragic with the devastation of the God Wars. Due to the violence during the conflict, many Aviancy pairs would be left with one or both partners dead. This shook the Aviancy's faith in Armadil, leading many to flee back to their homeworld. The remaining Aviancies on Gilinor would slowly repopulate in greatly reduced numbers. This is depicted in how all the remaining Aviancies in Gilinor stay close together in the God Wars dungeon. Armadil is the patron god of the Aviancies. He exemplifies justice, honor, and possessed a powerful staff which played a pivotal role in the God Wars. The Staff of Armadil, featured in the Temple of Ikoth quest, was acquired by Zamorak and used to assassinate Zeros. While little is currently known about this event in Old School RuneScape, I suspect we will come to learn more in the upcoming Desert Treasure 2 quest. Armadil reluctantly entered into the God Wars following Zeros' death aligning himself with Saradomen against the forces of Bandos and Zamorak. I suspect as a form of revenge for the use of his staff for the murder of another god, Armadil focused his attacks on the forces of Zamorak. This can be seen as the forces of Armadil and Zamorak battle in Kriara's section of the God Wars dungeon to this day. Kriara is likely the most powerful aviancy behind only Armadil himself. Kriara is protected by his bodyguards Flight Kalissa, Wingman Scree, and Flock Leader Gurian. They use melee, magic, and ranged respectively. Kriara uses all three attack styles himself and attacks at a 3 tick speed. His most powerful attack style is ranged, which has a max hit of 69. Kriara is known for two notable item sets. First is the Armadil Armor Set, which, before the introduction of Missouri Armor, was the best ranged armor in old school RuneScape. The second notable drop is the Armadil Godsword, which is a powerful PKing weapon. Its special attack consumes 50% of the player's special attack energy, hits with double accuracy, and deals damage with a 37.5% higher max hit than normal. This can potentially hit over 70 damage in a single hit, as seen in an infamous clip between Bodhi and Skill Specs. I can't even guess the 76, did you just say? 73, I'll risk it for you. <laughs> I quit RuneScape! I quit RuneScape! You little ginger prick! <laughs> Notably, the Armadil crossbow does not drop from Kriara. Instead, it drops from Saradomen's general, Commander Ziliana. If you want to face off against Kriara, there are a number of methods that can be used. A popular, albeit expensive, method for combating Kriara is the ranged chinning method. This method takes advantage of the area of effect damage of Chin Champa's explosions. To do this method, the player must lure Kriara and Flight Kalissa into a corner of the boss arena. Kriara will attempt to attack with melee if he is not being targeted by the player, and Flight Kalissa only attacks with melee, so they are easy to get into close proximity. However, to mitigate Kriara's melee attacks and take advantage of the Chinchampa splash damage, the player must switch between throwing a Chinchampa in Flight Kalissa and targeting Kriara. This works because Chinchampa's splash damage bypasses defense stats, and Flight Kalissa has a much lower defense level than Kriara. This method is click intensive, requires careful timing, and is expensive. A single black Chinchampa currently sits around 3,000 gold pieces and if a player dies, they lose their entire stack of Jinchampas. I personally did not want to spend that amount of GP on killing Kriara, so I used a ranged tank method. This strategy looks to maximize defense and ranged offense, using Diamond Dragon Bolts to occasionally bypass Kriara's high defense level. This method is slower, but less expensive and risky than the Chinning method. Finally, the Twisted Bow and Tumican Shadow can be used for increased damage at the cost of losing defensive stats from a shield slot item. 
Kriara is a Naviancy, and can be killed on a Slayer task after unlocking Watch the Birdie for 80 Slayer points. This comes with the benefit of the Imbued Slayer Helm, which offers little defensive bonuses, but a sizable damage and accuracy bonus. Paired with a strong defensive and offensive ranged gear set, Kriara becomes a realistic Slayer boss to tackle solo. I've enjoyed Kriara. It's a relaxing task that offers some sizable rewards. All the rare drops specific to Kriara are worthwhile, and it's fairly casual. I generally did Kriara whenever I got an Aviancy task since it's easy and rewarding, and with good gear and stats it becomes even more relaxed. That may explain why I was so surprised when I saw this pop up in my chat box. What? 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 No! That's insane! That's insane! I... Oh my goodness! I was... Okay. Okay! The best God Wars dungeon pet. We got it. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm stunned. I'm like, <laughs> are, are we gonna keep going? I mean, yeah, we just started the trip. Let's keep going. It's been a while since I've taken a statistics course, but plugging it into the, uh, the dry calculator, it's shown me I had a 0.1148% chance to get the Criara pet. It's a 1 out of 5,000 drop. I got it on 244. That is insane luck. Incredibly. 244 kills for a 1 in 5,000 drop is huge. I never expected the drop, although I knew it was possible. I think Kriara is the coolest God Wars dungeon pet because I especially like flying pets. The best part is when you tell Kriara Jr. a Family Guy joke, he dies. I hope you've enjoyed the combination of lore and pet hunting. I sourced some of the information in the video from the RuneScape 3 wiki. Since the God Wars are a part of both games, I felt that the basic information on the origin of the Aviancies and Armadil were accurate. I'm trying a new style of video here, and I hope to keep improving going forward. Currently, I have 13 out of 51 pets, and we're working our way down the list. If you have any suggestions for what pet to go for next, please leave it in the comments below. And as always, have a wonderful rest of your day.